Network analysis is a powerful way of modeling the complex transportation networks that are in our cities. Now, for GIS users, asking big questions at the city or the state or even the country level, with our desktop environments, we can often hit challenges. Unreasonable processing times, we're often left watching those progress bars or hitting memory limitations, and having to shrink our study area or chunk it up into smaller bite-sized pieces. Now, over in the data science camp, they have access to these distributed processing platforms for big data workflows, but they often lack these intelligent, ready-to-use transport data sets that truly represent the intricacies of a transport network, as well as the corresponding tooling that would actually allow them to do network analysis against those types of data sets. Which leads us to ArcGIS Geoanalytics Engine. This is a Spark native library, brings a wide range of spatial analysis tools to environments like Amazon EMR or Databricks or even your own locally deployed Spark cluster. And this includes network analysis tools, the Create Routes tool. You can feed it a data frame with locations such as work orders or sites that you need to visit and have it return the best route to get to them. And this will include travel times and distances between each of those stops. Um, another one is the Create Service Area tool. So in this case, grabbing a data frame of school locations and asking it to calculate the 10, 20, 30 minute walking time to those schools to generate a catchment around those schools, which in this case, we're going to plot within the notebook, but that could be then you know, persisted into another system and enriched with additional demographics. Great for accessibility analysis studies, that particular tool. For network analysis, you do need a network data set. Now, I need to emphasize this is more than just a streets data set. It defines how different vehicles can traverse across the network. A pedestrian can ignore one-way signs, but they might not want to go along a highway, whereas a truck with a certain weight and height you know, won't be able to go over certain bridges and tunnels. Um, this network data set includes all of that logic and travel modes. It's uploaded and made available to your Spark cluster. The Geoanix Engine Library extends your Spark to provide those range of um, network analysis tools that will work natively within your Spark environment against your business data. And that includes that Create Service Area tool, very popular choice for urban planning, but also in the commercial sector, understanding the, the demographics within five minutes drive time of your stores is, is a very powerful concept. Um, but also on the planning front, right? So with 30 minute cities, you know, looking at, you know, at a country level, right? How many people don't have access to hospitals within 30 minutes drive time across the entire country and, and, and run that for a variety of different types of facilities. Um, or in this case, looking at how people are within 15 minutes drive time of the live bushfire incidents feed um, in Victoria. Origin destination, very powerful, but renowned for requiring a lot of compute. This can be used for you know, supermarkets, understanding how far its customers are traveling to their shops, um, balancing out the ambulance network to ensure optimal coverage of the population. Uh, it was used during COVID to understand where to put um, vaccination centers and test clinics during COVID. Because they use a lot of compute, perfect fit for environments like Databricks in my example. Um, we've got the address points here from a Geopark A file for every address point in Greater Melbourne, that's the origins, and then the destinations, all of the primary schools. We want to work out what is the nearest school for every address point in Greater Melbourne. This took me around eight hours to run with ArcGIS Desktop, doing the same workflow with a single medium spec machine in Databricks or a single node took less than one hour. And that can be ramped up quite easily to, to reduce that time if required. Now, I will be doing some benchmarks in a future post, but please follow our blog for ideas and getting the latest news on ArcGIS Geoanalytics Engine.